Hi everyone, I hope that this finds you well. I wanted to take a couple of minutes to do a video on the endocannabinoid system. We get questions every day about hemp oil, hemp oil products, um, who should be taking them, who shouldn't be taking them, what are they good for, um, are they really good for everything? And so I thought that the best way to answer that would be to explain the, the system that is affected by hemp oil or, or cannabidiol, which is the active ingredient in it. Um, the, the endocannabinoid system is really one of the most uh, critical internal regulatory systems in the entire human body. And simply put, it comprises uh, cannabinoids and cannabinoid receptors. Um, there are two different types of cannabinoids. There are endocannabinoids, and then there are phytocannabinoids. Uh, endocannabinoids um, are made by the human body, and there are two different types of endocannabinoids. One is called anandamide, which is Sanskrit for bliss, actually. It's referred to as uh, the bliss molecule, or the molecule that is secreted um, or associated with, with a runner's high. Uh, the other endocannabinoid is 2-AG, or 2-arachidonoglycerol. And then there are the phytocannabinoids. There's actually um, well over 100 different phytocannabinoids that have been um, isolated, associated with the genus cannabis. Most of them we refer to as being minor phytocannabinoids. The two major phytocannabinoids are delta uh, 9 tetrahydrocannabinol or THC and um, cannabidiol or CBD. Then there are two different types of cannabinoid receptors, um, CB1 and CB2 receptors. CB1 receptors are located primarily in the central nervous system and in the endocrine system. Uh, CB2 receptors are mainly in the peripheral system, um, on white blood cells uh, and um, in the spleen, regulating inflammation and uh, the immune system function. This endocannabinoid system is a very nuanced system. It, it is not binary by, by any means. Um, it behaves actually more like a graphic equalizer than, than anything else. Um, the tone of the endocannabinoid system can be up or down regulated by the interaction between the receptors and the um, cannabinoids. In fact, there are um, different medical conditions that are associated with um, either an excess or a deficiency of endocannabinoid tone. Um, the the conditions like uh, that are associated with a deficiency of tone would be like fibromyalgia, um, irritable bowel syndrome, migraine headaches, glaucoma, um, mood disorders like uh, bipolar disorder, uh, PTSD, um, a lot of the pain syndromes, again, associated with a deficiency in the endocannabinoid system tone. Um, excess tone can be associated with things um, like insulin resistance and, and type 2 diabetes. Uh, there is a tremendous amount of crosstalk between the endocannabinoid system and all of the other signaling systems within the body. So when we look at the research on uh, the potential benefit for using uh, cannabinoids from a medicinal standpoint, the therapeutic benefits are essentially unlimited. Um, here at Lindgren Functional Medicine, we recommend that people use um, a, a whole plant-based CBD oil. The, um, the benefit that we see by using the minor phytocannabinoids and the major cannabinoids um, is, is really very synergistic. So I recommend that people use um, a full spectrum CBD oil and not, um, not just an isolate. Um, there's essentially no toxicity uh, associated with uh, cannabidiol use. Um, at extremely high doses, we can see some, uh, some somnolence, but not at the doses that are, um, that are typically recommended for daily use. The, um, 
the recommendations that that I stick to for the type of oil that um, that's most beneficial, um, at least as of today, um, I recommend that people use a uh, a nano emulsified liposomal product in order to maximize bioavailability or or delivery to the human body. The CBD molecule itself is is actually a very large molecule, and so the absorption can be low if it's simply taken by mouth. Um, as we move forward and more and more products are developed uh, using cannabidiol or hemp-based products, we should see um, improvements in the delivery system for, um, for topical products as well that can be used um, locally. Um, this is such an exciting area of research, and I like to think of the information that we have now as um, really just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, the, um, the potential uses for cannabidiol extend all the way from um, gut health to immune system function to um, pain syndromes, mood disorders, um, cancer, fatigue, um, endocrine issues, improving our um, ability to process um, blood sugar, um, healing, uh, it really, again, uh, unlimited. Uh, if you think that you may benefit from cannabidiol or a hemp-based product or have specific concerns or questions about it, I encourage you to contact us here at the clinic. Thanks again so much for tuning in, everyone. I hope you all have a great day. Thanks.